Hey, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol FITX. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Before I get started, would like to note to please check my disclaimer. If you follow our videos, you know we've done this one multiple times here before, and with the way the chart's been acting, uh, totally makes sense. Just a beautiful chart. A couple days ago, this candle here uh, wasn't the most uh, ideal thing. However, it has obviously bounced back very, very nicely. In fact, uh, much quicker than I would have probably guessed, and I'll get more into that. But in a weird way, and I'm going to uh, you know, certainly explain this, but this was actually a pretty helpful day. And before you call me crazy or anything like that, like I said, just give me a chance to explain. Uh, but this day here, uh, although it may seem like it was a very bad day, it has turned out to be uh, pretty revealing in terms of helping us to see where the true buyers are at and where these key levels of support now reside at. And obviously, they are much higher than where they were. So like I said, I'll break all that down, but don't think I'm crazy by saying this is actually a pretty helpful a little movement here. I'll, I'll explain all that in detail. So in order to explain what I mean by all this, let's first uh, scrunch up the chart from, and that way you can see where things are coming from. But here we have some previous uh, lows and so forth uh, back here and you know highs and everything. But what this day showed was, you know, where did the buyers finally stop in and say, you know what, that is enough. No more of this. Uh, the, this downwards pressure is going to end. And if we look at the chart, you can see that we have this little zone down here, and it, you know, it's totally subjective in terms of how you want to draw it. But first, I'll add this to green. I guess that would make more sense before I go and copy and paste it. So we have this little area down here, and it's uh, based off of you can see here at one point acted as resistance at this level and then again up here acted as resistance again and when the price got above it here turned into support and you can see multiple times uh, has supported the price and then this is where you can see right down there once again came down there and supported the price and not only supported it, uh, it essentially act as a trampoline and has really sprung the price upwards very quickly uh, like I touched base at the beginning of the video on you know after a day like this, I would expect a few more days of just simply sideways action, let the dust settle, let things kind of regroup, but uh, not the case here. Uh, just a monstrous day on Friday, and then that was followed up today uh, with another uh, very key move, and I'll get to that in a second here, but uh, a very quick and abrupt turnaround. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's not really uh, my word or anything. It's just simply looking at the chart. This area down here is clearly a big level of support where there's all sorts of buyers that, you know, when the price comes down here, uh, you know they're ready to buy and that's been proven uh, now twice both here as support and then uh, right here over the past couple of days price came down here great deal and now it's springing right back up so uh, this has revealed itself to be a very important level of support and that's helpful in charts whenever you can figure out where some of these key levels of support are kind of wherever the bulls are hanging out at this is definitely a, a bull hangout zone down here and it's uh, you know always helpful always beneficial to be able to identify you know where that kind of key hangout spot is now a few, few uh, comments ago I'd also, I commented that it's today it's also uh, made a very nice move and that revolves around this pink line here, uh, the 200-day simple moving average. Closed above it a few days ago and turned this level of resistance into support. And then on the crazy day when it broke back below it, that's where it went back to being a resistance. And then you can see on Friday, acted as resistance again. But however, today, gapped well above it. You can see pulled back a little bit here, didn't even back test it, and now has closed well above it right up there. So very quick turnaround in terms of converting this back into a level of support, and that's what we want to see. The longer this pink line can remain a level of support, meaning the longer that the price can remain above it, uh, you know, the, the quicker this moving average is going to continue to uh, curl upwards and start to uptrend, and that's what we want too. So uh, basically, as you can see, all sorts of things happened in the past couple of days. Today was just very important, though, uh, not only to carry on this uh, you know, bounce that's been occurring, but to show that this bounce has some strength. How does it have strength? Well, just the point we've been talking about, it's been able to not only get back above uh, the purple or excuse me, pink line here, but more importantly, it's been able to maintain and stay above it and stay above it by a long shot. It's not like it was close and it closed way down here goes way up here so a uh, very good sign that the you know bulls are flexing their strength saying yeah you know this was this was a legit bounce on Friday and today you can see the bounce has continued so kind of the bulls just uh, giving us a wink saying bounce is continuing so on that note uh, I, I'll say it although I'm sure I'm already kind of repeating uh, the point you get besides these being the key levels of support uh, the pink line 
has now gone back into the ideal level of support. I mean, ideally, you'd like to see it hold, but again, if it doesn't, we still have our major support zone down here. But best case scenario, what would make the chart look the strongest would be if this uh, level continues to hold strong as support, and that's at, uh, we'll put a value of 0 0.0041 on that level of support. In terms of resistances and areas that need to be broken to get back into uh, you know the, the big breakout territory, uh, the high of today was at 0058, so that was a little miniature resistance. I'm changing this to a skinny green line because it is, yes, technically a level of resistance. Oops, this should be a red line. This should technically be a level of resistance. However, if the volume uh, stays pretty steady, I'll zoom back in here. If the volume stays pretty steady, like it's been the basically the course of the past couple weeks, then I don't foresee this putting up much of a, a fight. I think the bulls will, will blow right past this. But regardless, uh, you know, technically speaking, uh, because that was the high of today, 0058 is a level of resistance. And then after 0058 goes back to where clearly the profit taking started, that turned into panic selling, and that's what I'll end on. So first, let's just let me get this up here. And that level is at 0064. So the final point was, you know, what happened on the crazy day? Well, I would attribute this to price got up here. You know, people have been buying down here. People bought here on the pullback. People bought here on the pullback. And they were up in a significant amount of money. So they started to lock in profits and then uh, provide some inexperience so forth. Saw that profit taking and then that turned into panic selling. And then there were some people that panic sold and, uh, you know, sold obviously way down here at the wrong spot because now the price has, is correcting itself. So it looks like to me a good example of some just uh, simple profit taking turning into panic selling. And then those panic sellers now really probably getting angry at themselves as the price has essentially headed right back up and is now closed at the highest it's ever closed at. You know, before this crazy day here, it had only closed as high as uh, 0.0048. Now we're at 0.0054. So very good in that sense. So lots of good stuff going on. And it's kind of weird to say that after such a, a wild day here, but uh, you know, when you got two snap back days like this, uh, you know, that's kind of just what you have to observe and, uh, you know, what the chart is telling us. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, again, this is FITX. Thanks for listening.